One thing Squarespace doesn't really offer is hover effects on links. So if you use something called the flex animation style, so navigate it off the top of my head, design, site styles, animations, flex, then on hover, I believe links have some like small hover effect, but anyway, it's negligible. What a lot of my clients want to do is make it obvious that the user is hovering over a link. So one of the ways to do this is for the link to change color when the user is hovering. So as is always the case, when someone asks me a question about how to do something and we do it and it looks good, I want to share it with you. So I'm going to show you the code that you need to implement. It's super simple. So let's get onto it. Let's use this as an example. Perfect example. Let's go and highlight examples. I wonder if that's a world record for the amount of times someone has said example in 20 seconds. So let's make it another color anyway. In fact, I think if I make it a link, it will change color. So we've got a different color anyway. It's quite obvious that this is a link, but you'll notice one of my videos, if you've been through them, is how to remove the underline from, from a link. So let's say we've still got that on. I think this is a H1. So H1 A, which targets links, text, decoration, none, and then we'll give it important and that should get rid of the underline. So you may not be aware that this is actually a link. So when we hover, nothing, nothing happens. Now, what we want to do, so ignore that code above, if we're going to target all links, we want to do A, squiggly brackets, and then we want to say hover, actually A, hover. So when we hover over a link, it changes color. So color, we'll say red, important. And then you can see it does this. But then when we hover over any other link on the site, like up here or in a button, for instance, then that goes red as well. So if we don't want that to happen for everything, we have to get a little bit more specific. So we want to target H1, which is the size of this font. You can see it works for there, but it doesn't for the rest, which is good. Well, it's good if that's, if that's what you want. But then if you want to target more, so let's say you want to target H2s, H3s, H4s, and P, then what we need to do is open up another squiggly bracket. So basically we need to wrap this code here. So we've got link, hover, so any link, but any link within these defined parameters. So we've got H1 still, that's good. But if we were to take H1 out and just do H2, you can see that it doesn't work anymore. So if we did H1, H2, H3, H4, P, so we need to put a comma between each, then it works. And then if we were to add in, let's copy this five times. We'll make this P, make this H4, make this three, make this H2. So we click save and then you can see each turns red. But you can see the, te the text decoration only works on H1 because that's what we've defined. Anyway, we'll get rid of that. So basically the code is A, colon, hover. And then we say when we're hovering on the link, this is the color that it goes. Now, if you want a smoother transition what we want to do is put transition in here. Let's say 0 0.3 seconds. And you can see that is when it comes out. So when we're not hovering, it takes 0 0.3 seconds to go back. What we then want to do is copy this and say we want that transition when we hover as well. So you can just see it's a little bit smoother like so. Now let's say we actually made that three seconds. You can see there's a much uh, much faster lag and i think actually maybe we need to do important for this so we've got three seconds oh, it still doesn't quite work maybe maybe i'm being a silly silly boy so we do a bracket close the bracket and then let's see okay and then it takes three seconds because we're targeting the link not the piece of text if that makes any sense whatsoever so in conclusion let me put this in. This is what our actual code looks like for all text links. So you've got H1, we're targeting H2, H3, H4, and P as well. Then we open a bracket. Then we put A. 
if we want to put the transitions in. Then we open another bracket, then we close that bracket, then we go A, hover, then we give it the colour. Oh, sorry, we open the bracket, then we give it a colour, so we, it could be blue, it could be whatever you want. Then we give it another transition in and out, or just in, sorry, this is in, this is out. And you can see it's just nice and clean. Then we do our close bracket. So for every bracket you open, one, two, three, you need to have the same closing. So one, two, three. See if we get rid, we get an error. So it's missing closing. So it's quite hard to get it wrong on Squarespace because it will tell you whether you've got it wrong. So that is how you add color to a link on Squarespace. As usual, I've, I've waffled on, but hey ho, it wouldn't be a video by me if I didn't waffle on, would it? So if you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of my Squarespace resources in the description below.